Hey, what's going on YouTube? Ty from xkeen.com hit you with another video. And today's topic is a question that I answered on Reddit. And it's kind of a, you know, crazy question, but kind of, you know, the question was, um, should I have a co-founder for my blog? And this person had, he said he ran a tech blog for the past four years, very successful blog. And he's starting up, I guess, two more blogs, and he's starting up new things, and he's not gonna have time for the tech blog. And uh, he wanted should he hire a co-founder, which you know I'm thinking or co-owner, co-founder, um, to I guess run the blog. And I replied back to him. I said um, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't hire a co-founder or co-owner to run your blog. I wouldn't do it. I will hire writers or managers for your blog. And, um, you know, for me, a co-founder is someone who, you know, who founded whatever we found together or, you know, our, our co-owner should be, you know, he'll pay you money. If he's paying you these, your half of the, the business, then yeah, he could be a co-owner or co-founder. But, you know, if you're doing it by yourself, if you start something by yourself, I wouldn't do it. Uh, I would just hire writers I will hire, you know, you can hire writers to write your blog. And, you know, you can also, on your blog, you give certain permissions for certain people to go to your blog and post content. You know, um, I haven't done this personally, but I know John Chow, he has writers for his blog. And, it's, you know, some of the videos I've seen that he, he's made that he has writers write blog posts and they post it on his blog in drafts. And he'll go in and go to his blog and just pick the content and post it on the day and that's it. So he has a writers for his blog, but he's the owner. He is the sole owner for the blog. So you know, you gotta think about blogging. Blogging, once you have your blog set up, as far as your header, your sidebars, your body and your footer, your theme, your landing pages, your 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 funnels, once that all that's set up, all you have to do is post content. There's nothing more to do, nothing more to move around, nothing more to change. Just to write good content, so you can hire three or four writers to write for you, and that's it. You can have them as an administrator, or have them just to post, or just have them email you to copy their their email, email you your their uh their post, and you can copy and paste to your blog. So that takes five minutes to do it. So to answer this question, no, I wouldn't do it. I would not have a co. Uh, owner or founder to my blog, I would just have writers. You could hire a manager. Uh, you could hire a blog manager to, to manage your blog for you. Um, you could hire someone to do that for you. I mean, look at real estate. You know, we own real estate. Um, you take you take you take apartments. You know, a company owns owns or a person owns that whole complex, but they don't go around and fix everything. They don't collect the rents. They hire property managers. To do all that for them, and you can do the same thing. You heard of social media managers? You have people like you know, that will go out and help small businesses run their social media. Well, their manager, they're managing that business for them. So you can hire people to manage parts of your blog. But if your blog's already set up with everything with the theme, there's no reason to hire. You know, you can hire. I mean, if you get a lot of emails, questions, you can hire somebody for that. You can have a virtual assistant to handle. Your email section. You can handle writers write the blogging process. The, the same virtual assistant can go in and post for you, and pay them a flat fee and post for you if you choose to. So I wouldn't do it. Um, I wouldn't. I would just focus on. Um, I would focus on, you know, hiring right, hiring writers, hiring managers to run your blog. And you run that blog because you did the work, you put the work in, you uh, laid the foundation, you done the hard work, and you should keep your blog. That someone will pay you some good money to to have half ownership. Uh, that's fine, you know. That's just your choice. I would do it. I I, I bet that with my own hands. And I'm not gonna let somebody you know take the easy way out and just buy their way in. Um, but that's just me personally. But I hope that answered that, that guy's or the girl's question. That, you know that person's question. You know, should you hire a co-founder? No, you wouldn't. I wouldn't. You hire specific people for specific tasks. 
to do certain things. Hire a writer to write the blog post. You hire a virtual assistant to help answer emails. And they can also post the content on your blog for you. You can hire an editor to edit your videos. All that good stuff. So, yeah. That's it for the video. Um, Ty from Thanks for watching my video. And I'll see you next time.